Developing at 5, a better look at the damage in the gated community on Glassy Mountain, which was on fire last night through this morning. We first broke this story on FoxCarolina.com. As many of you started sending us pictures of the fire, our own Lindsay Gibbs has continuing coverage this afternoon of the aftermath. This is the area where the fire first began here at Glassy Mountain that raged throughout the night and into the morning. This morning, there's still hot spots which crews are working to battle. Cutting down any tree limbs that are at risk of falling across the fire line and reigniting. The fire began in the cliffs, a gated community where crews are working in shifts throughout the night and early morning to get the fire contained. The fire came dangerously close to a few houses in the area. I mean, it looked like the whole mountain was on fire. Basically, that one swath was basically all on fire. We spoke with a resident who watched the fire happen from right across the street. You know, I got a pretty good sniff around me so I could tell something was going on out there. So we went into solution mode, had everything ready to go and bug out bags. And fortunately, we didn't have to do that. So that's what went through my mind. Just basically, how do I take care of myself and hope no one else gets hurt in the process? We know at least one other home was evacuated in the area. The fire was initially across two acres and quickly spread to five. The South Carolina Forest Commission says to be wary as we head into fire season. Be careful with any kind of outdoor burning or anything that they are doing. Just be aware that it is, uh, we are going into our fire season. And... Uh, it can't get away from you quick. Throughout the morning, crews are working to contain hot spots like this one. And the cause of the fire is still being investigated. Reporting from Glassy Mountain, Lindsey Gibbs, Fox Carolina News.